Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On this video I have this Lexus IS250. This is a 2013 model. Just going to show you the location of the fuse boxes. Now, um, according to this manual here, which is quite thick and very extensive, <laughs> um, we have quite a few fuse boxes and also is is actually showing us left hand drive and right hand drive so this particular fuse box, fuse box which is sitting in front of the battery on the left hand drive it will be on that side uh, but on on the right hand drive it's on that side so um, and then we have this other one as well which is sitting just there as well we're going to open it in a minute and we have a type a fuse boxes fuse box and a type b and then we have um so it says here left side instrument panel for left hand drive vehicles left side instrument panel for right hand drive vehicles so in this case this is a right hand drive it will be on the on the passenger side um, the other one will be in the same place, but it's just uh, it's just on the driver's side. And then this just shows you there is a little key for removing fuses. But uh, it says only type A fuses can be removed using the pull pull out tool. And this chart here shows you what a broken fuse will look like. So that will be good, that will be bad, same same as all of them, that will be good, that will be bad. You can see the little filament is broken in there, in the picture. So, let's have a look at those fuses then. Um, I don't think I have a fuse chart in here, so maybe the, uh, the fuse list is behind the covers, so we'll see that in a minute. So get the bonnet open and we have our first fuse box here, press on that little clip on that side there and you can actually take this cover out. Fuses and some relays in there and we have some fuses in there. So it says only type A fuses can be pulled out with that tool, I think you're referring to these little fuses here, those tiny little ones. Because these other ones, you can literally grab them and pull them out. And yes, behind this, there is a chart for what the fuses are for. And you have uh, some of the re relays also showing you in there. Just those relays there. And what else do we have? So we have an ABS fuse, engine fuse. There are a few for the engine. Um, what else do we have here? Heater. Heater, ABS number one, PIC. towing fuel pump so something like a fuel pump it says there 20 amp fuse that will be a little the little yellow one in there and we'll move on to the next one so let's put that back in there. The next one is just here. Again, press the little clip here. And let's pull this cover out. And there we are. We have fuses there, relays, fuses, fuses. And the little key they're talking about is this one. This side is for the tiny little fuses there. 
and usually the other side you can use on slightly bigger fuses so i'm not pulling any fuses today but that's where the key is and again if we look at this diagram here we have some relays there so you can more or less uh, guide yourself how this is uh, how this is um, drawn in here you wouldn't you couldn't see it this way around because nothing would match because uh, next to the relays there is this list of fuses here so you wouldn't have that in here there's these fuses here but there's they're in a different uh, different locations uh, your diagram is showing you a straight line so that goes like that we have straight line there relays and then relay relay and fuses here so straight line relays really 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 and fuses there and uh, so those are that's what more or less they are for EFI that's usually the injection system and so on then you have the relays wipe blades horn I don't know what those are others are for fan ignition main EFI electronic fuel injection main then we have some more fuses here engine AVS EPS wipers engine ignition number two alternator radar washer stop signal horn and uh, so on and some spare ones so looks like these three here are spare. Fit this back. Make sure it's shut properly. And then we have the fuses that are going to be inside of the car. down here i'm gonna get the light on okay so just looking from under here you have that cover there let's try to get let's try to get that open it's a little bit tricky <laughs> Yes, I just literally have to pull this out. Okay, just need to pull the cover out. That cover has the list of fuses on it. As we can see. And that's where the fuses are. And so that's pretty much it really. That's where you can find all your fuses on this car. I'm gonna put this cover back on now. But um, all in all, hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you for watching.